What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno, man. This is um very important what I'm getting ready to break down to y'all, man. Let me tell y'all some about uh, certain people. People will try to take over your life if you're not careful. If you let them, they will absolutely take over your life. There are people who you um, you bring into your situation, and they didn't even have a situation to start with. They had nothing, and you may have brought them in. Uh, into your 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 business, you may have brought them into a situation where it's like, hey man, this is an opportunity where you can really advance and do some things. I'm gonna bring you into it. Um, it may be somebody you're involved with, and you bring them to your life, your home. They didn't have anything, and once they get comfortable, they will try to take it over, <laughs> and they will act as if. As if you have not done anything for them. They will act as if they are 100% entitled to whatever it is they're trying to take from you. Your, 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 your business, your home, whatever it is. They, they have this delusional thought that they have a right and they're justified in how they are behaving in that moment. Now, to get to the personal accountability side of it, of the person who is being... Uh, treated like that, uh, what we have to realize is a lot of times when people come at you like that, there is a door that you have opened that made the opportunist go, hmm, I can take advantage of this situation. I can slide in this door and I can manipulate this and freak it out and make it benefit for me. So there's a weakness that we have possibly shown that gave that person the confidence to believe that they could actually pull this off. Now, that's the accountability side. That's when you got to say, okay, yeah, you know what? That's probably on me or that is on me. But all hope is not lost because that's not to say that because you may have let them get too comfortable, you may have spoiled that person or whatever, however it went down. That's not to say that you can't fix or reverse the situation or um, just remove yourself from the person altogether. You can still clean that up. You just have to take the action to do it. You just have to, to recognize it first and foremost and not let it get worse. You can't let it fester because the more that people like that settle in to your life and the uh, perfect example of taking kindness for weakness and trying to um, um, use somebody um, the more they settle in, it's like when something settles in and it hardens up on a surface, it's harder to clean. It's like washing dishes. You know how you eat, and then when you get through eating, if you don't rinse that dish out, you don't rinse that dish off after you wash it, then whatever's on it is going to harden up and makes it harder to clean that dish later on. Because now you got to get all the extra scraping and wiping it when if you just rinsed it off in the beginning when it's time to, to wash it and clean it it's real easy people are like that you gotta you gotta wash them up you gotta rinse them off instantly and, and, and the definition of rinsing them off in this case is you gotta let people know who you are and how you get down from the beginning you have to establish yourself with people from the beginning because what I've learned is that when you do that when you establish yourself with people from the beginning, then they get an early indication of knowing what they can and cannot get away with with you. And not only do they know what they can and can't get away with, they know what they can't even attempt to even try to do. See, before you even get to getting away with it, if they know how you get down, nine times out of ten, it's always one. But nine times out of ten, they're not going to even try. Because people like that are always looking for the easy target. They're looking for that easy, that easy dub, that easy win. They're not going to go after somebody that that they know, well, nah, this is going to be a problem if I try this with them. Or, nah, they, I'm, I'm going to meet some... Um, 
formidable opposition if I try this with that person. And it's sad because usually it is a person who genuinely cared about the person, genuinely looked out for the person who ends up getting done like that. And if the person remains either blind or weak, then the cycle is not going to break. Because it's not going to break itself. Because, uh, you know, we expect, we make the mistake of expecting people to have the same type of um, a character that we might have. Like, because we'll say things like, oh man, I would, I would never, I, I can't even imagine doing that to somebody, man. Hey man, I'm a, I'm a man, I'm a, I'm a self-sufficient man or woman. I can stand on my own. I want to stand on my own. But what you got to understand there are people in this world, they have no intentions of standing on their own. They ain't trying to stand on their own. They trying to stand on you. They trying to stand on your own. See? They trying to stand on what you own. They want to take over what you own. So you become uh, confused and discouraged that this person doesn't seem to have any moral character and they don't seem to have any shame about trying to do the stuff that they do. You can't think like that. You got to recognize that they're not like you. You're not like them. They they live for these kind of moments and they will they will take advantage of that for 879 years straight if you let them. But you got to be the kind of person who smart enough to to know how to nip all that stuff in the bud and um you know handle things through the right channels, handle things the right way and and know how to get, uh, know how to flick a roach off off your off your clothes. You know, when the roach is crawling on you, you know how to, how to flick him off. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all might have been privileged and didn't grow up having never flick a roach off, but y'all know what I mean. So um, the best way to stop it when a person, when you recognize that a person is trying to get down on you like that and trying to um, put their weight on you like that, is to just stop immediately don't play around don't say what you're gonna do next week don't say uh well i'm i'm I got a few things to do i'm gonna make stop it nip it right now as soon as you recognize it because you have to show people you gotta show them that you are not the one to play with like that and it's like i say it's through many means you know it's, it, it could be through legal means through professional means um, God forbid, but sometimes physical means. But um, you know, we we try to we try to make that we try to go through the other channels before we get to that point. But um, sometimes it gets to that point. But uh, you gotta you gotta nip it and make sure that they know you ain't the one to play with like that. Because hey man, my mama said you can't put a price on peace of mind, and uh, nobody, nobody gets the right to invade my peace, to invade my space, to take over and um, and hold my peace hostage, hold my happiness hostage, um, hold my lifestyle hostage. You don't get you don't get to do that, bro. And when you do that, I consider that as an act of war. <laughs> you're going to war with my peace. You're going to war with my lifestyle. You're going to war with my happiness. And so now I gotta retaliate. All right, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. Stop letting people take over your stuff, man. You built this up. You created this. You did this. You established this. This was something that uh, you you had in existence before this, this, this people even came in your life. Don't let people come in and mess your stuff up, man. All right, I'll catch y'all later on. Peace.